I'm continuing a demonstration that I started yesterday and this probe has been sitting now actually I let it sit overnight in the ionized water and so it's definitely dirty and I'm going to pour some fresh ionized water here and and see what the ORP is uh, me, you know what the meter is measuring this ORP to be. Now already because I know I've tested this water enough times I know what the ORP is going to be and with a dirty meter the first thing that if I if I put my ORP probe in ionized water from the Athena uh, the Athena actually self cleans continuously so it has a very consistent ORP and it's only showing up at a two a negative 299 then I know that that ORP meter is very dirty and needs to be cleaned now the first step of cleaning is I'll take some acidic water and I just have some acidic water here and I'll just show you the acidic water that um, this pH probe is sitting in is about a 2.1 uh, pH. It's very acidic. Alright, so now I'm going to let the ORP meter probe sit in this 2.1 acidic water and that'll start the cleaning process. The second step is I am going to get my uh, I've the manufacturer recommendations for cleaning these probes are to use their very expensive fluids for cleaning them. Now I have all those <laughs> all those various cleaning solutions and I used to do that long ago but at this point I do not do that anymore because it just takes too long and I don't have two hours every time I go to test just to waste on cleaning the, the ORP meter probe and so I had to start looking around and asking and I asked the various technicians at the ionizer um, warehouses and things like that and um, I, I found out how to clean the ORP probe much more quickly than I than using those solutions. Now I still, I mean, you should, still can use those solutions. I, I actually don't though, because this is just so efficient and it does it real well. All right, here's the ORP meter probe. First, I'm going to just dry it. It's been sitting in acidic water for just a minute, which will help loosen up that calcium. And then I'm going to dry it. And basically the problem with the probe and the reason why sitting in ionized water causes it to get quote unquote dirty is it's not dirty full of dirt dirt, but it's just got a calcium film on that little needle that's in there. Now that's the goal of cleaning it. Now the the needle itself or probe is what it's called is um, coated with platinum and platinum is a very hard mineral and you don't want to this is 220 grit sandpaper by the way it's just a tiny little piece of it and I just took a regular whole 8 by 11 piece or whatever size it was and cut it into little strips like this and then I just go there's little grooves here on the sides of the probe and I just kind of go in the grooves and just do very light swishing and sanding very very light not hard I don't want to do so you know roughly hard that I remove the platinum of course I just want to lightly lightly polish it and get that calcium off and if you really are looking closely you, you can see the white specks and whatnot that that have formed on the probe. Then I'm just taking it along the top of that little probe and just kind of brushing it there. I kind of go in this way and 
brush it and I just do like uh, you know a minute's worth of this and when I've done a minute's worth I'll usually test it and that'll, that'll let me know you know how well am I doing it testing it does not tell me that it's a, uh, I mean, I don't test it just because I think I'm done cleaning it. I test it because I might be done cleaning it, so I don't want to overclean it. Now, I'll stick it back in the acidic water for now, and then I'll get some more ionized water to test it. And if it comes up closer to the negative 700-ish, which it should be, then, you know, once it gets up to around negative 700, or a little better than that, I... I will be satisfied because that's what I'm used to and that's what I know the Athena will give me. All right, so I'm going to stick it in there and see what it's given me. Well, actually, that is getting better. It's a negative 600, negative 700 something. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really used to cleaning it so quickly um, usually I have to do what I just demonstrated twice at, at least to get it clean but the, this particular time it had it, it was clean to begin with and I just last night I just it was too clean to, sh to demonstrate how to clean so I had to soak it in the ionized water overnight and um, so and just so as to dirty it up <laughs> so as to be able to show you what the results of cleaning the ORP meter are so now this is very simple uh, took about a minute so it's almost a negative 800 ORP which is just wild and unreal let me let me just see what the pH of this water is because see this is at level 3 Athena and the pH is probably going to be around a 10.5 is my guess. So, um, anyway, it's yeah, it's it's about a 10 point something pH. So, at a, with a negative 800, that is just tremendously wonderful <laughs> so um, anyway that's that's the uh, demonstration hopefully most people don't need to really get an ORP meter I only really did this demonstration for those people who are kinda like me they want to test everything and that's that's good to want to test everything but you do have to know about the ORP meter and how wrong your results are if that meter is not clean.